Basson got the May and June Mystery Tackle Box out here. Me and Dan are going to be doing something a little different. Oh, we got the little John boat here. This is a uh, row only lake, so we're going to put this John boat in here and roll around and hopefully do good on the base. But he's going to be throwing the June Mystery Tackle Box. I'm going to be throwing the May Mystery Tackle Box. And we got this Rapala uh, scale here. Uh, there's five baits in each. We're going to see uh, what. It's not going to be a total. It's going to be. Uh, Five baits, well, how much each fish weigh on each bait, and hopefully we'll see who does better. It's just a small fun term we're gonna do. We're gonna weigh them on this Rapalata touch screen scale. But uh, first off, I'm gonna do what I got in my on the May bet box, and then Dan's gonna do the Mojo box. So first off, we got the Eco Pro uh, or Eco Stick. This is made by Bio Spawn. This is an Eco Stick, uh, cool little bait. I know, just a little Gamagatsu flick shake. Uh, this is a rubber silicone jig and one eighth ounce size. And it's just got a little gambler craw on there that is in Dan's box. He let me use one of his craws to put up that. Then we got the Shockwave 4.25 made by Missile Baits. And then that's just with the hook that they gave me. It's the uh, Mustang 4 out hook that I just put on there. It's just on a, my Baitcaster 6.9 jerk bait stick. And I'm just going to be throwing that around weeds. It's 100% weedless. Cool bait. And then the uh, Yabby River Sea Yabby, which is a big, this is a big, this is not the bait, this is the bigger one. And it's got a it's pretty big bait. It's a crawfish bait. Then the last thing is the Excite Baits uh, XB1 Crankbait. This is silent in a red craw color. Uh, but that's all the five baits that I'll be throwing. And then also we got this bait mate I'm going to throw on the jig as well. This is just a fish attractant. Pretty cool stuff. So hopefully we can get into some fish. Stay tuned and here's Dan's uh, What's going on guys? Fish with Alex today. Using the June Mystery Tackle Box. This the Sashimi Yozuri Pencil FW Bait. Um, I'll use this later on in the day. Closer on sunset. Next we have the Gambler Flappy Daddy here, throwing it on a Powell 6.9 medium heavy. Uh, next we have the Seaman's uh, Sawtail Worm, and I'm, I might throw this, uh, I'm going to try to catch around this, and then I'll probably switch this off with the uh, shovel, head, well, uh, shovel Head Jig. Pretty different head jig, half ounce. Probably be some pretty good pink jig color. It's on the Z Man Sawtail. Ah, I'm bringing a fork back. Let's try that. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Just had one on over there. That was about the same size as this one. Alright, wait. How are you fishing that worm? Just uh, raising it up, dropping it. What is it? 302. 302. I don't know if that's right, but that's a nice fish 304? right there. 304? I'll take 304. Yeah. It spawned out. Yeah. It's a good fish right there. Oh, there you go. Hook's already out. Easy enough. Gambler Flappy Daddy on a 1 4th ounce function weight. Oh, there it goes. Let's get this guy weighed in. 1.10. Alright. Not that bad. 1.10. See right there. Gambler Flappy Daddy. Going for the release. My first fish has been kind of slow. Finally hooked up. I missed another one on this. This is the Shockwave. I haven't really changed. This is all I've been focusing on, but that's a nice little pond fish. Uh, using that Mustad hook that came in the box, four out with the missile bait Shockwave. That's in a pearl white color. Just throwing on just a small jerk bait rod. I'll see how, how much this thing will weigh. This is a heavy enough bait that it's a missile bait Shockwave that you could throw it on a bait caster just with the hook and a bait caster. That's what I like to throw. 1.2. 1.2, so it's about a pound, four ounces, give or take, 1.2. Nice little fish. I'll put this right away, and I'm going to go try and catch one on the rubber jig. All right, guys, welcome back. That lake wasn't doing so good. Dan caught those two, and I caught that one little guy. So I'm just taking all my rods. i got the little pockets. We're going to go down this little pond, do some shore fishing for a little bit. I'll hopefully we can get into some better fish. Sammy, hold on the channel. Let's see if can get a bite. Out. 
All right, guys, there's my second fish. That's a really skinny guy, but he hit that eco uh, eco stick made by BioSpawn. Uh, just throwing it on a little wacky worm. This is one of my favorite new stick baits. It's, it's an awesome. I've uh, got in the main mystery tackle box. I'm still throwing the main box. Uh, Dan caught that nice one. He's only got one more bait left to throw, and that's that jig, which once you got on this channel, you should be able to do. But uh, this is an awesome little channel. These fish are in here guarding fry still. And um, you can usually come back here and catch a lot of fish. We, uh, we weren't doing so good on the boat, so we decided to come back here because because these fish are all back here. It happens this time of year when all these fish just come back here and congregate. And you can see that they're all these fish are spawned out, but they're they're right at the post spawn, so it's easy to catch these fish. All right, guys, throwing that yabby again. This is. Another solid fish, but as you can see right there, that fish choked it. That's the river to see Abby. That thing is an awesome bait for post spawning. There you go. Another good fish. These fish are all just stacked back here because of that uh, post spawn fishing, but they're pretty much eating all these baits that were thrown at them. These are awesome baits. This fish, this bait will stand straight up in the water. I don't know if you can see this right here, but let's throw this bait in there. It stands straight up. So this thing looks so realistic. It's not even funny. And these fish, that's an awesome. When a crayfish does that, they can't resist that, and they just they pound it right in here. That Eco Pro stick and that top water. Now we're gonna probably keep on working our way out and then fish the main lake a little bit for those fish that are have already left and are a little bit more chunky and stuff like that. All so right. stay Guys, uh, this canal is really exceptional right now. I mean, if you time this right, these canals can be really, really effective. I mean, it's not just like every time you come in this place, it's like this. But when these fish are in here, they're in here. That was on the shockwave by missile baits. I mean, that fish exploded on it. All these fish are post-spawn in these little canal area. I mean, we knew after we went to that one lake earlier today, it wasn't gonna be, it wasn't really good. These, those fish in that lake, the water was kind of dirty. And sometimes you gotta just change lakes up or change areas up. That lake wasn't very big, so we couldn't really find any other areas. This is a pretty big lake once you look out there, once you're gonna get out there and maybe throw some jigs for some bigger fish. But I mean, uh, for, a, for a little while, for about 10 to 20 minutes while these fish are on fire in here, you can pretty much almost every cast catch them in here. nice fish on the missile bait shockwave. I mean, it looks so easy and so dumb, but I mean, all, these fish are in here because of the spawn and the post spawn. That These fish are just smoking these baits. These are awesome baits to be throwing. I mean, all these fish are, all these baits are perfect for the post spawn time. Uh, Dan caught his fish on the top water and the uh, top water and the worm in the other place. He's been catching a, a lot more fish on the top water. That's on the missile bait shock. Shock uh, wave, but you can reel that on top of the water like I was doing, and that fish exploded on it. All right, guys, welcome back. That's my best fish so far today. That's gone on that little with that gambler craw. Uh, this is right at the mouth of that creek. We're gonna start fishing out there. I got one more bait. I gotta catch him on the excite baits. Uh, I plan to throw that out there a little bit more, but this is a solid fish. Two seven one. Nice fish, almost three pounds. Caught on that uh, river to sea rubber jig with the gambler craw. Nice fish. All right, guys, just finished off my June mystery tackle box on the shovelhead jig. Just made just D bomb this jig all the way out there by that stick. Got a great hook on it. Have a flappy daddy gambler Z uh, trailer on it. Nice little fish, and uh, Alex just lost his excites crankbait to a really big fish that he just broke off on. Uh, we'll get back to fishing. All right, guys, finishing up with this last fish. Uh, caught all my fish, to recap the day on the Yozuri Saishi pencil bait, the uh, Z-Man sawtail worm, the showhead jig, and the Gambler's Z, uh, Flappy Daddy. And 
little guy. But it's fish. Coming yeah. up right now. Uh, coming back in the Soul Canal, see if we can't get another fish in here. But uh, caught out of the five five baits, I caught. Well, I landed four fish on camera. I caught a lot on the Excite baits. Just uh, they were little guys, and then I finally got a big hit on it, and I broke off right next to shore on like a three, four pounder. I don't know. Maybe, I don't think it was my knot. I think I just had a kink in my line. I didn't really tie, but I uh, caught him on the shock wave with that busted hook. Uh, the rubber jig by River to Sea. And then what else did we catch him on? Then on the eco stick by uh, Biospawn. And the last bait was that uh, uh, River to Sea uh, Yabby. That fish caught some. That, that bait is a little bit bigger and it caught some bigger fish. So I caught River to Sea Jig, the Yabby, the shock wave, and the uh, Biospawn. And then the Excite baits. Silent XB1, which I caught a lot of fish on, just didn't get one on camera on. Hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, May and June Mystery Tackle Box Slam. Dan did the June one, I did the May one. So hopefully we'll get back to you with some more videos. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.